The Senate will come to order. The Senators will please take their seats. Those persons not entitled to the privileges of the floor will kindly retire to the gallery. The Senators and all in attendance will please rise and be led in prayer by the Reverend Lawrence R. Chotner, Salisbury Presbyterian Church, Midlothian, Virginia. Reverend Chotner. And let us pray. God of the ages, whose almighty hand continues to call us to stand in hope, to seek justice, to make peace, and to allow your love to be our love, we give thanks today for your abiding strength and continuing guidance. As we live through this day, help us to know that the words we speak and the decisions we make reflect what we believe and who we are. Hold before us the mirror of your presence. Grant to this body, the Senate of Virginia, as it continues to fulfill the work for which it has been elected and gathered, wisdom and patience, vision and encouragement, that all that is done will promote the welfare of this commonwealth, shaping a future in which the exercise of freedom will increase. For the blessings of this day, for life, for the opportunity to use our time and our talents and our treasures, we pray with gratitude. Hear this, our prayer, as we turn to you as others have done in the past and will do in the future. Amen. The clerk will call the roll. All those present will please vote aye. The clerk will close the roll. If you have a quorum, Mr. President, Senate Journal from Monday, January 24, 2011. The Senator from Russell County, Senator Puckett, moves that the reading of the journal be waived. All in favor of waiving the reading of the journal will record their votes aye. Those opposed, no. Are the Senators ready to vote? Have all the Senators voted? Do any Senators desire to change their votes? The clerk will close the roll. Ayes 39, no zero. Ayes 39, no zero. The reading of the journal is waived. The clerk will report any communications from the House of Delegates. The senior senator from Fairfax, Senator Saslaw. Mr. President, I move we waive the reading of the communications from the House of Delegates. Question is, shall the reading of the communication from the House of Delegates be waived? All in favor of the motion will record their votes aye. Those opposed, no. Are the senators ready to vote? Have all the senators voted? Do any senators desire to change their votes? The clerk will close the roll. Ayes 39, no zero. Ayes 39, no zero. The reading of the communication is waived. The clerk will report any communications from His Excellency the Governor. We do not have any, sir. Reports from standing committees are now in order. The clerk will call the committees. The Senate Committee on Agriculture, Conservation, and Natural Resources, the Committee on Commerce and Labor, the Committee for Courts of Justice, the Committee on Education and Health, the Committee on Finance, Senator from Prince William, Senator Colgan. Mr. President, I'm sending to the clerk's desk a report from the committee. Thank you, Senator. The desk will receive the report. The Committee on General Laws and Technology, the Committee on Local Government, the Committee on Privileges and Elections, the Committee on Rehabilitation and Social Services, the Committee on Transportation, the Committee on Rules. Time has arrived to recognize visitors to the Capitol and take up other matters in the morning hour. The Senator from Portsmouth, Senator Lucas. Thank you, Mr. President. As you can see from all the red suits all over the Capitol today, today is Delta Day at the Capitol. And so we have a significant number of my Delta sisters seated in the gallery today. Among them, of course, Yvette Robertson, our past regional director, our state coordinator, Vivian Wills Williams, and, of course, Senator Ella P. Ward, who is also a member of the Portsmouth City Council. And I saved the best for last. The president of the Portsmouth Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority, in her second term, my daughter, Lisa Lucas Birkin, all the other members of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority, Mr. President, I would appreciate it if you would extend to all the ladies in red and other colors that they wear a warm greeting of the Senate. Thank you, Senator. If all of our guests uh, from the Delta Sigma Theta Sorority would rise uh, in the gallery. Uh, we are uh, delighted to have you come and visit with us every year, and you always brighten up uh, the gallery uh, so much, and we hope that your visit here to the Capitol this year is, is equally, uh, equally enjoyable. I would ask the members to join in giving them all a very, very warm welcome of the Senate. Are there other matters for the morning out? Seeing none, the clerk will call the calendar. Uncontested calendar, Senate bills on third reading. Senior Senator from Fairfax, Senator Saslaw. Mr. Mr. President, I move that the Senate bills on third reading, the uncontested calendar on pages 2 through 16, that Senate bills 1159 through 1362, be placed upon their final passage in a block, and any senator desiring to move a bill from the block, please wait until after the clerk has read the number of the bill. The question is, shall the Senate bills on the uncontested calendar, third reading, pages 2 through 16, that Senate Bill 1159 through Senate Bill 1362 be placed upon their final passage in the block. 
with the understanding that any senator desiring a bill removed from the block will do so after the clerk has read the number of the bill. All in favor of the motion will say aye. Opposed? No, the ayes have it. The motion is agreed to. The bills are before us in the block. The clerk will read the number of the bills. Senate Bill 1159, Senate Bill 1160, Senate Bill 1344. Sen Senator from James City County, Senator Norman. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. If I could ask for Senate Bill 1344 to be taken out of the block and pass by for the day, please, sir. Without objection, Senate Bill 1344 will come out of the block and go by for the day. Senate Bill 782, Senate Bill 815, Senate Bill 819. Mr. Senate Bill 824. Senator from Botetourt, Senator Smith. Could uh, Senate Bill 815 come out of the block? Without objection, Senate Bill 815 will come out of the block. <clears throat> Senate Bill 824. Senate Bill 828. Question is, shall the bills in the block pass? That is all bills except for Senate Bill 1344, Senate Bill 815, and Senate Bill 1107. All in favor of the passage of the bills in the block will record their votes aye. Those opposed, no. Are the senators ready to vote? Have all the senators voted? Do any senators desire to change their votes? The clerk will close the roll. Ayes 39, no zero. Ayes 39, no zero. The bills in the block pass. Returning to page three of the calendar, Senate Bill 815, the junior senator from Henrico, Senator McEachin. Mr. President, I move that the bill pass and speaking to that motion. Senator has the floor. Uh, Mr. President, Senate Bill 815 does a very simple thing. It goes into our grievance procedures and says simply this, that if an employee goes through that procedure and has found that he was uh, wrongfully discharged, that he be reinstated to the same job or a similar or substantially similar job. Uh, that's all the bill is intended to do. I hope it will be the pleasure of the Senate to pass the bill. Thank you, Senator. Senator. Senator from Harrisonburg, Senator Obenshane. I would respectfully submit uh, that the good intentions of the uh, patron, however, are mitigated by what I predict will be an unintended consequence of uh, perhaps unduly harsh results in the event that there's a, uh, some misconduct by an employee and because they don't want to reinstate him or don't feel like the employee can be reinstated to the same position, uh, reinstatement is no longer an option. Thank you, Senator. The question is, shall the bill pass? All in favor of the passage of the bill will record their votes aye. Those opposed, no. Are the senators ready to vote? Have all the senators voted? Do any senators desire to change their votes? The clerk will close the roll. Ayes 35, noes 4. Ayes 35, noes 4. The bill passes. Regular calendar, Senate bills on second reading. Senate Bill 781. The bill to amend the Code of Virginia by adding a section numbered 63.2-608.1 relating to eligibility for the Virginia Initiative for Employment Not Welfare Program, screening and assessment for use of illegal substances. Reported from the Committee on Rehabilitation and Social Services with amendment. The Senator from Henry County, Senator Reynolds. Mr. President, I have two motions. The first is to adopt the committee amendment. The question is, shall the committee amendment be adopted? All in favor of the motion will say aye. Opposed, no, the ayes have it. The committee amendment is adopted. Mr. President, the second motion would be to re-refer the bill to Senate Finance because of the fiscal impact. Okay, thank you, Senator. The question is, okay. question is, shall the bill be re-referred to the Committee on Finance? All in favor of the motion will say aye. aye. Opposed, no. The ayes have it. The bill is re-referred to the Committee on Finance. Senate Bill 802, reported from the Committee on Rehabilitation and Social Services with amendments. Senator from Spotsylvania, Senator Howe. Mr. President, I would ask the Senate to agree with the committee amendment. The question is, shall the committee amendments be agreed to? All in favor of the motion will say aye. Opposed, no, the ayes have it. The committee amendments are agreed to. Uncontested calendar, Senate bills on first reading. Senior Senator from Fairfax, Senator Sasslaw. Mr. President, I move that all Senate bills on the first reading on the uncontested and regular calendar, pages uh, 27 through 33, that's Senate Bill 778 through 1298 that the rules be suspended and the first constitutional reading of the titles be dispensed with. The question is, shall the rules be suspended in the first reading of the titles of the Senate bills on the uncontested regular calendars, pages 27 through 33, that Senate Bill 778 through Senate Bill 1298 be dispensed with. All in favor of the motion will record their votes aye. Those opposed, no. Are the senators ready to vote? Have all the senators voted? Do any senators desire to change their votes? 
The clerk will close the roll. Ayes 39, no zero. Ayes 39, no zero. The motion is agreed to. The reading of the titles is dispensed with. Senior Senator from Fairfax, Senator Sassel. Mr. President, I inquire the clerk, have we completed the calendar for today? Yes, sir. Is there any other business to come before the Senate? Senator from Prince William, Senator Colgan. Mr. Pre Mr. President, I move the Senate now adjourn until 12 noon tomorrow and we adjourn today in honor and memory of Justice George Cochran. Thanks, Senator. The question is, shall the Senate now adjourn until 12 noon tomorrow? And it's when the Senate does adjourn, it adjourn in honor and memory of former Supreme Court Justice George Cochran. All in favor of the motion will say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. The ayes have it. The Senate stands adjourned until 12 noon tomorrow.